welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, thanks for coming back. I am going to share a bit of a project share tutorial um, with you all today. Um, last night I was putting together the sequins box and I'd actually made two of them and um, I thought actually it'd be really cool to show you how I'm going to decorate it and a little bit of a closer look at what's gone inside. So this is the one I made last night and I'll open it up and show you all the little containers. Um, I've made a few of these before, um, actually quite a few of these before, but um, I usually stick my decoration on the top here, but I watched a tutorial the other day from Danny over at Pop Fizz Paper who, on her Creepy Crafty Days series, and she had made a wrap around the sequins box, and I made this little Christmas one. And with a wrap and I thought oh maybe I could try wrapping up these big ones that I have because I know that no one else seems to be able to find them and then whoever I give this to can use the sequins and then they could reuse the box however they wanted to rather than have all the stuff stuck on it so here's a bit of a close-up of the different sequins that's in it so I've got black ones in here white orange black and white, gold, some more orange and pumpkins, and then purple, so I thought that was a really cool mix. I've added some glitter and different shaped and sizes of sequins, so, and then each little section separate, you can take them out, use the little spooky scoop, and mix your own sequin mixes. So, I have got another one. Um, it's exactly the same. I've just made two with the same mixes and I'm going to show you how I made the wrap So first thing you need you need to measure your box and then you need to measure around it So for this one I need for the wrap I need seven by eight and three quarters and then this is just the little panel on the front so I Followed Danny's <laughs> idea of measuring so you just kind of go that measurement, then that measurement, then that measurement, then that measurement, and then a little extra flap to wrap it up. So for me, that is three and a quarter inches. Oh, I scored it three and a quarter inches, four inches, seven inches, and eight inches. So I'm just going to leave that like that for now because I'm just going to decorate this little panel. So I put made a panel that was just a bit smaller than the top panel. And I've just stitched around the outside of this one. So I'm just going to show you the process of me decorating this. I did have a little think about it before I started because I'm really slow at this. But I'm going to go for something like this. This Halloween. And then, so just um, a disclaimer. I have thought about this before I've started. So um, I'm definitely not just doing this off the bat, off the... I don't know if that's what you say. Um, I'm just going to pause you for one minute. I'm just going to stitch this on, which I should have done already. Okay, so I just sewed that piece of vellum along the top and the bottom because vellum is, you can see through it when you glue it. And then I'm going to try putting this Halloween up here, which luckily this one's all in one piece, but I find these, see, they're really hard to peel off. So I'll probably... Fast forward through this bit. Okay, so I had to stop that because I was getting a little bit embarrassing. But what I try and do is peel back like most of it, and then you can keep it straight and place it on where you want it. Stick that bit down, make sure it is actually straight, I think it is, and then holding that top bit, sort of when you, I've seen other people do this kind of thing when they're putting stickers on, like letters, and then they use a little piece of clear paper or something to line them up, but oh no, these stickers are really like, want to stick to their paper forever, okay, so there's that we'll just put it back so there's that's pretty straight and then I'm going to use this little bit of um, gauze because I really 
wanted some cheesecloth that I see everyone using and I couldn't find it here. Apparently you can get it here. I can't find it. I don't know if I'm just blind or whatever, but I actually quite like this because it's quite easy to use and it's, um, oops, probably shouldn't have stuck my hand down like that. So that is, oh, I just burned my finger. Um, I'm just going to use this little girl from the, this is from Spooky Boo collection. I've still got some of this one left, so I'm just going to pop her up on a little bit of foam tape um, because I've got that, um, that behind there, so I think it'd be a good idea to pop her up a little bit. And I'm just going to put a little bit because everything I use... This is really old foam tape. My other one's in the other room, but it's really sticky. Anyway, so I'll use some hot glue on there. Stick her down. And then I thought I'd use one of these little Doodle Pop stickers that my friend Kathleen sent me in some lovely Halloween mail. Just to pop down there because it's so cute. I had some other little um, pumpkins and I was kind of hoarding the last ones of these but um, she's so cartoony that I thought the real sort of looking pumpkins would look a bit funny. Anyway, so I just, I think that's some decoration. I'll do some jimmies and stuff soon and then um, I just went and put the um, spell out the words I was going to spell because you don't need to watch me doing that. So I'm just using these pink fresh puffy alpha stickers to write sequin box as straight as I can even though it's not that straight. But if we put that on and attempt to put it on but it always goes a little bit weird. You can play around with that, you're not perfect, but nothing I really do is, so I'm not about um, perfection. Although I do, don't want to look, look stupid. Um, so Halloween sequin box, and then I guess you can just do whatever you want. Maybe if I had a little, oh that's what I was going to do. I have this somewhere. Some cute little... Um, Martha Stewart washi tape that I got from Brenda, who's over at Zavala, which I can't remember the letters after that, but um, the numbers, but I'll leave a link down to her below. She does really great um, Instagram sales. So she has like sales and she's over in the States and she's happy to go shopping for you or for me and get little goodies but she I got a grab bag and I asked if it could have some Halloween stuff in it and um, I got this washi tape in it which is um, a Martha Stewart lot and oh so cute I don't have any Halloween washi so I'm just using it on everything but then I forgot There's a bird outside my window um, yeah, so I'm really enjoying all my Halloween crafting. I think I will put this on. Yeah, I'll put this on like that, just because there's a big gap there. And yeah, that is that. And then you can see that either the, the tape or that's not straight, but I can straighten that up. So what you need to do next is um, attach it to your box cover just with some double sided tape so do that really easily and the other good thing is with these boxes if you put something on the front cover on the top bit the top's clear so you can see through and if you put something on the inside unless it's super super thin the box doesn't shut properly so you can see the inside so however you stick it on you can see through it and it always looks messy and I didn't like it so I think this is a really Good way to avoid that also. And then just fold this. I got a phone folder. Just, um, 
fold on all those score lines. Um, if you're making something like this, these will be the score lines you've made by measuring your box. And then put this in. Like so. And then what I'm going to do is put little Velcro on it to keep it on there. Um, because it's not straight up the side, it doesn't really want to stay there. So putting these on will just hold it in place. And um, I will glue that on there, but I'll just wait till I'm finished. So I'm using some of these little tiny Velcro dots. Um, I ordered these online, but I'm sure you can get them lots of places. Not in New Zealand. In New Zealand, if anyone here is in New Zealand. Oh, sorry. Um, I got these off Trade Me. They come from an international seller, but they're quite reasonably priced and they're really cute because they're just so tiny. Um, so there's that. That's the little box done. And then I'm going to do a little spoon, one of my little scoops. So these um, are just nail polish testers. Um, I got the idea from, once again, from Danny over at Pop Fizz Paper. She um, used one of these on hers, and I really love how it looks. So how I decorate is I'm just going to use some of this glitter washi tape. Oh, and put it along here. This washi is really a bit thick, but... Just got a headshot there, so I hopefully I delete that, and then just trim it back, just going around the edge of the scissor um, of the scoop. So I went away and put the spooky boo onto there with just some little tiny alphas. So I just used these little ones here, and then I punched a hole through the end. There's already a hole there, but I just punched through the washi tape using my crocodile, which was just fine. The original one I used some baker's twine stuff to just tie this on and then I thought they could cut it off but I had a little idea to use um, oh, use a jump ring use one of these giant lobster clasps that I have um, attach that on and then pop a wee tiny I've got these gorgeous little um, pumpkin charms so I'll pop one of those on Put that through there, put that on, then we'll just shut the jump ring. Could probably use a smaller one, that's just the one I had, and then just attach that to the end. So then it's all um, um, attached that way, and then they can just take it on and off. So there you go. Little thing you could tie it, you can put it on however you want. These just have a little thing, so it's great to just attach, and there's your box all done um i hope that you enjoyed um watching me decorate that i if you have any questions feel free to um ask down below leave a comment i would love to hear your feedback make sure you hit the thumbs up because that helps me out apparently and i always love getting um a thumbs up notification um if you would like to subscribe to my channel please subscribe hit the subscribe button I would really like that I just got to 500 subscribers and I'm going to do a giveaway soon so make sure you're subscribed to find out how to enter that okay thanks for watching see you again soon bye